Hello viewers, welcome to uh, this uh, review. Yes, it's uh, it's me. Uh, Chase is on vacation, so I will be fill I will be filling in for him uh, with this intensity review. He's gonna be taking a little bit of a break, um, and he'll be back sooner or sooner or later. I think he'll be back by uh, Bulletproof Seven. So next week he'll probably have his review. Um, now this is uh, you know I know Chase had his you know I think like two minute review last week uh, it was because he had too much space on his iPhone taken up so he couldn't put on too much so uh, this is gonna be similar because uh, I'm a USW performer so I can't really um, can't really give you a review because then people are gonna take it for granted and you know they're gonna think oh he knows this is gonna happen so this is gonna happen uh, no, I'm going to run down the line of what happened on Intensity and just go through it. So, yes, you mark this on your calendars. Uh, November 20th, 2014, uh, Zach Hardy does a, a USW review. Somewhat. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, this is my review for November 19th, 2014's Wednesday night intensity, uh, two weeks away until Bulletproof 7, so I'm going to run down the matches and what happened. Opening the show with Alexander Rotten coming out and demanding her nastily, MC4 comes out instead laughing and Rotten gets upset. First match, Alexander Rotten defeats MC4 by making a pass out to the Rot. Afterwards, I and Nygma was seen wheeling a wagon full of fireworks to ringside and Pascal Reese, we just nodded and walked away. Uh, then afterwards, Benny Franklin, or any Fra Ezra and Hills and Benny Franklin ask Kyle Reese for Enigma, and Reese tells them to run to ringside. They do and get caught in a smoke bomb and run off. Second match, Indigo Chow with a chain reaction, uh, as his manager defeats Prophecy with Cannon. As his manager, uh, he won after the Indigo for the win. Cannon walked away backstage. They interviewed Cannon. Cannon said something about how. You know, he was going to have to rethink about, you know, what Prophecy and he and Prophecy are doing. That was that. Third match, Majigeta and Western Light defeated TJ and Wilbur. And then an interview with Fernandez and Gringo. Uh, and then Anarchy defeated Crimson Red. And then Ash kidnapped Anarchy. Uh, and then Ac Philip Akron with Ross as his man Chris Ross as his manager. Defeated James with Simon Saint as his manager. He hit the acorn for the win. Afterwards, Simon Saint sprayed Philip Akron and Chris Ross with a fire extinguisher. Six match, Fernandez, Gringo, and BP Fierce defeated CED, ED, and Lane. Uh, Gringo hit the go on Lane for the win. Uh, afterwards, Majigeta and Western Light came out and attacked Fernandez and Gringo with spray paint. Got all over their eyes, funny to watch. And then, seventh match, Enigma and, B and e Ezra and Kills with Benny Franklin as their manager defeated Capital and DHIG. Uh, I speared DHIG for the win. Uh, afterwards, Kyle Reese chopped uh, quite a few pounds of ketchup on Ezra and Kills and Benny Franklin while they were walking up the ramp, and then joined uh, Enigma Capital and CED, or I'm sorry, Enigma Capital and DHIG in celebration. Uh, very messy intensity. Uh, spray paint all over the ring. Uh, fire extinguisher crap all over the ropes and the turnbuckles. Uh, ketchup all over the ramp that they are s probably still cleaning up. Uh, smoke bomb, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. Uh, let me just uh, do a brief uh, kind of infomercial somewhat or whatever. Uh, tournament is on a brief hiatus, uh, and so is the podcast. So looks like this may be... Unless it you know becomes a pay-per-view, this may be the only uh, USW-related uh, topic that you'll be able to see every week besides pay-per-views, uh, and that's intensity. So uh, maybe I'll go back to my roots and review WWE, but that's it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. I'm Zach Hardy signing off. See you later, or Chase. We'll see you next week, whatever.